Are you or your business the target of a defamatory Facebook attack and you want to put an end to it? By the end of this video, you will learn how to effectively report and remove defamatory content from Facebook. Hi, I'm Darcy Buxton, a paralegal at Mink Law, and I'm back with another informative video on how to report slander and libel on Facebook. In this video, I am going to go over what the two types of defamation on Facebook are, how negative content on Facebook can affect your personal and professional life, and how to report all types of content to Facebook and have it removed, including Facebook posts, profiles, and Facebook business reviews. Before going into details of how to report defamatory content on Facebook, it's important to understand what defamation is. There are two types of defamation, libel and slander. An easy way to remember the difference between libel and slander is that slander is to speak. Libel is a statement that is written defamation. A libelous statement can be published on social media, in an email, or even in a book. On Facebook, slander can be classified by anything in a video or a live stream that includes a defamatory statement. For example, if an unhappy client of yours goes on a live stream video and communicates false statements about your company, then that can be classified as slander. Libel on Facebook is pretty much everything else. A defamatory post on someone's page that is about you, comments made about you, and even messages sent via Facebook Messenger can all be classified as libel. For example, False reviews posted on your Facebook business profile by an irate customer or a competitor looking to gain an edge in the marketplace can be considered defamatory. Generally, Facebook can't be held liable for slanderous or defamatory content on its platform due to Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act, most commonly referred to as the CDA. The CDA protects sites like Facebook from liability for content posted by its users. In most cases that involve content published on a social media platform, the original poster of the content is who is liable for what has been published on the platform. Therefore, you would have to go after the original poster. If you find yourself the target of a defamatory attack on Facebook, there are a few different ways to report the defamation. The kind of content you want to report will determine how you should report it. Generally, before reporting someone, it's best to check out Facebook's community standards to identify what Facebook's guidelines are and how the content in question may be in violation of one or more of the rules that users need to follow. If the content posted violates one of the six community standards, then it may be removed and the account could be restricted or suspended. Among these standards are rules that are against hate speech, inciting violence, bullying, and sexual exploitation of others. One option to report a post or a video is by flagging it. You can do this by clicking the three dots to the top right corner of the post and selecting Report Post option. Click the option that describes how the post violates Facebook's community standards and then click Next. Sometimes Facebook may ask you to submit a report describing how or why the content violates their community standards. Describe why you are reporting it and what community standards they violated and then select done. From there, you will be able to submit a report to be sent to Facebook to review. A second option is by clicking on the video or photo to expand it. From there, you can click on the three dots in the upper right-hand corner and select Find Support or Report the Photo and Video. Then choose the best option for why you're reporting the content. You can also report an entire profile or account that is behind the defamatory content. To do this, you will need to find the profile and go to their homepage and click the three dots next to the Message tab and select Find Support or Report Profile. You may be asked to submit a description as to why you are reporting this account and what guidelines they have violated. You can always have your friends and family report the account as well. Much like reporting a post or a profile above, business owners also have a couple of options for reporting fake or defamatory reviews that are published 
to their Facebook business page. The first option you have is to report the review as a member of the general public by clicking the three dots in the upper right hand corner. Find select support or report recommendation and choose the best option for your situation. Option two is to report the review through your business page while you are logged in. This follows the same steps as option one. Option three is to report the reviewer as a fake account. However, this will only work if the account is truly a fake account. Navigate to the profile in question and find those three dots and click report profile. If Facebook reviews the flag content and determine it does not violate their community standards, you may need to pursue legal remedies such as sending a demand letter or filing a defamation lawsuit to obtain a court order to remove the content. If you know who is defaming you, sending this person a demand letter from an attorney is a great way to get them to stop and remove the content that has been posted. This demand letter puts the users on notice that you intend to file a lawsuit if they do not stop and follow your demands. If a demand letter doesn't work or isn't right for your situation, then filing a lawsuit to obtain a court order is your next step. In general, it is best only to pursue a court order to remove content when you have already tried simpler options like flagging the content or sending a cease and desist demand letter. Getting a court order against a person directing them to remove defamatory content is an extremely effective way to get the content removed. There are many steps to filing a lawsuit to obtain a court order. The following is a quick roadmap of this process. Identify the defamer. Draft a legal complaint that specifies the defamatory material. Serve the defendant with a copy of the complaint. Present evidence to the court that supports your request to remove the content. Secure a court order that directs Facebook to remove defamatory content and present the court order to Facebook. You can read more about each step and other questions on our Legal Resource Center. Just visit minklaw.com for more information. Facebook was designed to bring people together. However, some use it as a way to ruin the reputation of others. The way Facebook is designed, defamatory content can spread like wildfire since it only takes one click to share, like, or comment on a post. This can have catastrophic effect for you or your business reputation, especially if the content is not true or accurate. I hope this video was able to answer some of your questions and help you gain a better understanding of defamation on Facebook and how to report and remove it. If you think that you may need an attorney to assist you with your matter, then head over to minklaw.com and fill out our contact form or call our office at 216-373-7706 and speak with a paralegal about your options. This is Darcy with Mink Law and I will see you in my next video.